Thank you very much. Congrats. Can we have questions? And congrats. Here's Once I start shaking one person's you. hand, I got to congrats. Hi. Congratulations, guys. I didn't get all the, I was going to oh like God. do handshakes yeah. and yeah. pounds. Yeah. It's just once you do like, one, I just feel like it's like. Thank you. Pound it out. Mm -hmm. Pound it out. There's yes. Nice. Yeah. How do you feel? This is my favorite question to ask. Yeah. How do you feel right oh, now? Oh, man. I feel kind of shocked, a little bit sweaty, a little bit, you know, crazy. I, I, mean, I, uh, I wasn't expecting it, and I feel so, uh, so happy that we get to go celebrate together, mm -hmm. I guess. So wonderful. No. What are you shocked guys do? and shiny. Yeah. Shocked and shiny. <laughs> We're all feeling a little yeah. shiny yeah. and shocked. Yeah. What do you think the celebration looks like tonight now? Like, what do you what do you do to to burn off that shocked shiny vibe? Oh man, we were just talking about how uh, the Genos kind of provides this opportunity for all these bands that are out on the road mm -hmm. separately, mm -hmm. doing very similar things with their lives uh, to kind of interact and catch up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so I think we're just going to spend the night catching up with our friends that we, okay. you know, people like Arkells and Sam Roberts who brought us on the road in the beginning and we just get to see them and, and, and hang out with them and catch up and, I don't know, yeah, go see Weaves. Yeah. But also get to bed at a reasonable hour because we're playing yes. tomorrow at the Junos. Yes. You have to be very and that's like tonight. not a small deal for us. We've yeah. never done that before. Have you performed live on television before? Oh, I have a mic. You have a mic. Yeah, so you don't have to interview me. Anyway? <laughs> <laughs> I might be in like super staring. Really consider <laughs> people keep doing <laughs> <laughs> um, We played, we haven't done much live, uh, tele we did some, we've done some breakfast television type okay. shows and yeah, we did the MMVAs, so. um, but the, the Junos are a whole other. So how do you, have you prepared for this then? Oh man, well we, uh, we found out like two weeks, three weeks ago. I don't know, something like that. We were on tour in, I think, Poland at the time when we found out, and uh, yeah, in Leia's family's homeland, uh, which was the most fun. But um, I think that was what blessed it. Yeah, it could have been. It was the out. luck. We had yeah. the best time in Warsaw. This was like the most legendary time. But that's a whole other story. Uh, I, like, yeah, I don't know how many more get. How, is there anyone else coming? Can we talk about the legendary? It's just, oh, yeah, Jared's got to sure come on. Yeah. <laughs> Jared will come on. <laughs> Jared, Jared, do you want to come hang? No. Come uh, on and hang. Okay, so wait. Finish the Juno thing and then tell us what the tell us the legendary uh, Warsaw time. It's well, Jared, Jared should be here for this. It's Jared <laughs> Rab, our friend Jared Rab. Hi, Jared. Hi, pleasure to be here. <laughs> so we got the call. Got to play on Juno's. We mm -hmm. called Jared immediately. We were like, Oh my God, help! Mm -hmm. uh, he directed the video. And uh, the initial sure idea, have, which is what we're we took, I don't know if we should say this because we might get pulled from the TV performance. Should yeah, we don't tell them what the projections are? Don't spoil it. No, no don't tell them. them. They're censored. They're, They're censored. It's all good. You don't have to spoil it. So the for the, okay, cool. So for the. Uh, <laughs> don't spoil Let's the broadcast. Let's not spoil anything. Oh. Okay, don't spoil this, is all, but this is all really good lead up to the broadcast now. Because like See, now. Everyone's going to be watching tomorrow. Yeah, so tune in to the yeah. Junos. I start tomorrow at Anyway, so I'll say this. I'll say this. I'll say this. Jared is the best at uh, projection, live art, video art, unbelievable video mm -hmm. director in Canada. He did the video uh, and we were able to kind of transport the video into a performance mm -hmm. in a really cool way. He created all of these projections on this incredible stage that this guy, Alex Nadon, I believe you pronounce it, uh, unbelievable guy that designed the stage and all of the projection screens and everything and we're trying our best to fill the space as much as possible and I'm so excited about it and we threw it together in a jiffy so thank you to Jared for doing that uh, Thanks, in Jared. no time Thanks, flat Jared. up all night there's too many <laughs> but also yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's the same problem we had earlier with the handshakes it's yeah. just like yeah, we're pounding it's out handshakes. too difficult to be intimate have you guys seen the set yet yeah we did a tour we just saw like so the different know. it looks oh, amazing. so crazy it's yeah. It's insane. It's going to be pretty rad. And seeing the way different people take advantage of it. Like yeah. we saw, I was there yesterday when Arkells were sort of getting oh, yeah. ready with the Arquettes and their, the, all the supplementary players. And like, this is going to be a crazy show. Yeah. yeah totally. Like it is going to be really cool. Tell us about Warsaw. And Warsaw then we can go. Because then I, I think we're done. Are we done after that? <laughs> Okay, so Warsaw, oh, this, is the last, this is the last anecdote of Lana oh. and I doing this for four hours and 14 minutes. We've been talking oh, wow. for four hours and 14 oh, minutes. Lord. Nonstop. This is I'm, like I'm the, rubbing uh, your back. Telephone. I thought you were late. Yeah, this is actually, <laughs> this is actually a okay. David Blaine stunt. It's, it's it was really Interviewed nice. Interviewed Alive. It's the worst David Blaine stunt ever. Okay, so Warsaw. Warsaw was yeah, like particularly we, I don't know, great. Do you want to tell about this? It's like unbelievable welcome that we were not expecting at We've all. We just, I mean, normally when you go to a country for the first time, you are playing to, you know, between 
seven and 30 people, if you're lucky, mm -hmm. um, because you know you don't ever assume that people have ever heard your music, especially when you're a thousand, thousands and thousands and thousands of miles from home. Um, but we just showed up and we got to <coughs> ride, a, ride a bus for the first time. Like Ooh. a like a tour bus wow. for the first time overnight, and we got to play this uh, radio gala to 2,000 people, um, and then we got to go on Explore the Warsaw. kind of like their their public broadcast radio the next day and play mm -hmm. some acoustic songs, and it just it was like 48 hours or 24 hours, but it was like the it's just what you have to work towards for mm -hmm. so long to get, and we kind of ended up having it all thanks to the lovely people at our label and in Poland uh, all we at once. We just felt so lucky, and they, they, awesome. uh, we made a little video of us trying to make trying to speak Polish. Yeah. And mm -hmm. uh, I don't know, it was really special because uh, no There's one from Leia's family had gone back to Poland, and, and it just felt like a really yeah. special experience. Yeah, really I can't wait to go back. Cannot wait to go back. Amazing. And also, all of your hard work has paid off in your Juno. <laughs> there it is. Yes, with your Juno. Yeah, we feel so lucky. It's crazy. Danny, did you? <laughs> <laughs> That's it. You can answer it. You can answer it. Do you know who's well, like, calling? Who <laughs> also, what is your ringtone? Please tell me it's picturing love. Also, yeah, who is that? Would that would be yeah, really it's cheesy. It's like Raffy or something. Yeah. Uh, who is here? I know. Okay, well, is we. Uh, here? He's. Raffy's here. Nominated. Oh, so maybe he's not he's here. Nominated. Sorry, he's nominated. Sorry. Don't make assumptions about what Raffy does. I shouldn't. I don't know. In the bus. Okay. I thought someone said they were talking with Raffy. No. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not spreading rumors. I really don't, I don't know. I don't remember anything that happened four hours. Ago. <laughs> we were talking for four hours. Mm -hmm. Hey guys, what's this bowl? Oh, oh, oh it's a. Um, okay, let's do, you, do it. Maybe you guys would know about the Proust questionnaire. Does it, no. Anyone know? I'm the only one who watches inside the actor's studio. It's fine. <laughs> um, essentially, it's an old parlor game from the olden days before the internet existed in the 1890s, and uh, there were just questions that you would ask people to learn more about them. So essentially, it's how you pick people up before Tinder. Anyway, um, <laughs> we just put um, the questions in a bowl. Should we do it? So you can, do you mm -hmm. want to take a, pull a question? Pull do a question it, and everyone answer the same it, question? Do it, do sure. it. Full band question? Full band, first questionnaire. All right, Danny. What is your current state of mind? Oh, yes. Ooh. Thank you, Bowl. Psychedelic. <laughs> Hell yes. I like it. Oh. I'll go to Leah. Cold meds. <laughs> <laughs> Gas. <laughs> We're getting some real answers here. Aroused. Jared? Um, arousing. <laughs> Peter? Peter? I feel elated. 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 Sam, how do you elated. feel? I feel uh, pleased. <laughs> <laughs> It's kind of a bummer after a lady. And I, I was like, oh, I'm good, man. Like, I don't know. This is all, this is all. And hold oh, on. Oh, he's trying to tell Sarah you Sarah McLaughlin. Oh, oh guys, yeah. Guys, let's. Guys, uh, I'm so excited because Sarah McLaughlin's in the same building. Also, Buffy St. Marie sat on the same couch where you were, and it's Whoa. very exciting. Anyway. So we're actually not done, even though. We're not done. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, we Sarah should. McLaughlin's being honored with um, the Canadian Music Hall of Fame in induction. Yep. So I made this sign so we can go down McLaughlin Memory Lane. Oh, wow. It's kind of cheesy, but it's cute, right? It is. So I'm trying to make sure you conjure up your Sarah McLaughlin memories. Do you have any connection? Do you have any sweet memories of? I gotta think about this. I'm gonna pass this mic over. Anyone? Like memories of Sarah? Yeah, of like her music, Listen, listening, listening to, to Sarah her songs. Music. Oh yeah, well her. I can't. It was like the album before her really big, big one in the mid '90s. Um, Surfacing or fumbling towards ecstasy? Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it was like my buddy Ben's dad was an audiophile, and it was the, his like reference CD for great stereo speakers. So I. <laughs> So, it, yeah, yeah, it, it was like one of her early ones. It, it didn't have any hits on it, but it's just the production on it was amazing. Oh, so whenever Vox. I, it could have been Vox as yeah, well. Yeah, I think that's what it was, yeah. Mm -hmm. And so whenever that's I hear it, I think of, like, the best sounding speakers of my childhood. <laughs> this was like Lana's, and, and mine, I was into this. This was like our vision for, like, really helping connect with people emotionally. And I like that it's like, it sounds good in stereo. <laughs> <laughs> so what about the SPCA commercial? Yeah, 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 yeah that's true. Um, any, no, Sarah McLaughlin, anyway? <laughs> well, she's here and she's angelic. Yeah, oh, she's yeah. incredible. Um, yeah, we got absolutely. to meet her at the Genos in, I think it was uh, Winnipeg she performed? Yeah. Yeah. Or Hamilton, yeah. Winnipeg. Mm -hmm. And it was unbelievable. I mean, she's kind of an institution in yeah, the country. She's, mm -hmm. right? so she's absolutely incredible. 